Changeability and durability are the main characteristics associated with data inside an electronic control units. Data whose values are changeable, but available across the power cycles needs to be stored in the non-volatile memory. Diagnostics troubleshooting codes, calibration datas and many vehicle-specific informations are few examples of non-volatile data that are available in the entire vehicle time. How do these informations are getting stored and maintained in the non-volatile memory? In this tutorial we will try to explain them in detail. In AutoSAR layered architecture, memory stack modules provide mechanism to store and maintain non-volatile data as per the requests from multiple automotive applications. Multiple modules are involved to provide data availability and integrity for non-volatile data available in different types of memory devices. Below given the list of modules that are available in the memory stack of the AutoSAR layered architecture. NV RAM Manager and CRC Module in AutoSAR Service Layer. Memory Abstraction Interface, EEPROM Abstraction and Flash EEPROM Emulation in ECU Abstraction Layer. Then EEPROM Driver and Flash Driver in Microcontroller Abstraction Layer. NVRAM module administrates all data requests from different application modules to access the data in an EEPROM and flash memory. CRC module provides CRC generation routines to check and to generate CRC for memory blocks. This module also provides mechanisms for consistency and integrity checks of data saved in memory during operations. Memory Abstraction Interface module allows the NVRAM manager to access several underlying memory abstraction modules like Flash EEPROM Emulation and EEPROM Abstraction modules. Flash EEPROM Emulation and the EEPROM Abstraction modules abstracts the device-specific addressing scheme and provide the upper layers with a virtual addressing scheme. EEPROM driver and flash driver available in microcontroller abstraction layer provide services for reading, writing, erasing data from these memory devices. Before going deep into the AutoSAR memory stack modules, let us try to list out few memory requirements that needs to be taken care in an electronic control unit development. Application shall be able to access multiple non-volatile memory devices like external EEPROM and EEPROM emulation in internal flash. After ECU reprogramming, datas like immobilization data or vehicle identification number shall be kept secure. One ECU shall be used within different variants of same cars in different geographical locations, with different set of features. Memory stack shall provide mechanisms for consistency and integrity checks of data saved in memory during operations. Note that, these are few sample requirements that you can correlate with the different points what we are putting forward. Let us try to understand the NVRAM manager in detail. In AutoSAR, application can access non-volatile memory only through NVRAM manager. This module provides the required synchronous and asynchronous services for the management and maintenance of the non-volatile data. It handles the non-volatile application data by storing the data in continuous memory blocks called basic storage objects. Basic storage object is the smallest entity of a non-volatile RAM block and several basic object can be used to build an NVRAM block. These basic storage object can reside in different memory locations like non-volatile memory, random access memory or in read-only memory. In short NVRAM manager manages NVRAM block to handle non-volatile data. Below given the list of different types of basic storage objects that are used to build NVRAM block. NV block represents a part of NV RAM block which resides in non-volatile memory. The contents of NV block can be modified during program execution. It is used to hold application data that are stored periodically or on based on request. It consists of non-volatile user data and optionally a CRC value and NV block header. This is a mandatory basic storage object of a non-volatile RAM block. RAM block represents a part of NV RAM block which resides in the random access memory or RAM. It is used to hold live data from application software. It consists of non-volatile user data and optionally a CRC value and NV block header. This RAM block is not a mandatory part of NV RAM block. 
RAM data block can be either permanent RAM data block or temporary RAM data block. A permanent RAM block belongs to non-volatile block that can be accessed only by one application. The address of the permanent RAM data block is fixed and defined during NVM module configuration. Suppose if multiple application is accessing the same NV block, then each application uses its own temporary RAM block. The address of a temporary RAM data block is not defined by a configuration parameter, but it will be passed to the NVM module during runtime. Application software data that are persistent in nature and cannot be modified during the program execution are kept in ROM block. ROM block represents a part of non-volatile RAM block which resides in the read-only memory or ROM. ROM block is used to provide default data in case, if no valid data could be read from NV memory, either due to a CRC error or because of any other failure. For example, if the NV RAM manager cannot read vehicle calibration dataset from non-volatile memory into RAM, it shall copy the calibration information from ROM default data to the data area of the corresponding RAM block. CRC blocks are not used with ROM blocks. ROM block is an optional part of NV RAM. Administrative block is a special type of block which resides in RAM. The contents of administrative blocks are non-persistent in nature. These blocks are mandatory part of NV RAM block and it is mainly used to hold the attributes, error information and even the status of the NV RAM blocks. These are the different types of basic storage objects through which, the NV RAM manager, handles the different types of non-volatile vehicle datas. That's all, in this training session. In next training session, we will look into different types of NVM block management. Comment us, if you have any clarifications. Subscribe to our channel if you would like to get notification about the next session.